here we are today talking about Stinknet Oncosiphon Piluliferum. It is a horrible, noxious weed that, as you can see, is uh, readily invading this vacant lot. The way to identify it, it has sphere-shaped inflorescence that are lacking any type of petals and each one of these sphere heads has the capability of dropping another 100 plus seeds. There are other look-alikes that you might notice in Tucson in the spring, but if you see something that has a sphere head and no petals at all, that is the invasive stink net. It has oils in the leaves that produce allergens, can cause rashes or blistering, and then allergens produced from the pollen itself can cause headaches and uh, has been shown to cause asthmatic reactions. My name is Eddie McPeters. Hi. And I live right over there on the corner of Lee and Alamo. There wasn't anything here last year. If there was, it wasn't, wasn't really noticeable at all. And then all of a sudden this year, here it is all over the place, overnight, just overnight. These people have been coming in here and and uh, giving it a bad time. Pulling it, they've been cutting it. Now I guess you're gonna spray too now, aren't you? Yeah. My conversation with a fellow from Phoenix yesterday was telling me, he's an nurseryman up there, and uh, he's telling me that, yeah, it's bad, you know, really bad. So that's what we know. It's from South Africa, and uh, the name Stinknet is actually an Afrikaans word. When goats forage on it, it ruins the flavor of their meat and their milk. It's an unwanted plant wherever it grows, even in its homeland. It did go by some other common names of, of globe chamomile, and that was one of the reasons why it spread so much in the Phoenix area. People had this misunderstanding of what this plant was, and they were selling it, giving away at farmer's market, and uh, just allowing it to spread like wildfire and now it's pretty much conquered a lot of the Metro Phoenix area. We're trying to prevent this from spreading throughout the Tucson region. We have a website called stinknet.org that is dedicated to tracking the spread of this plant specifically. You can go to that website, pull up the map, see if it's growing anywhere near your neighborhood. Then you can go out and, and join the army of the active citizens of, of Tucson and going out there to remove this plant. There's always been some grassy weeds out here, but never, nothing, nothing like this at all. I mean, just unreal. Hi, I'm Tom McNamara, host of Arizona Illustrated. Thanks so much for watching this story from our show. And for more local stories from Arizona Illustrated, just click right here.